Hey everyone, welcome back to In a Pinch. I'm Chris, and today we're talking about Top Espresso. Uh, first though, a quick word, uh, since I just did the intro, I had some questions after a couple of videos ago, because uh, the last video I did, the SP number one, was actually a video that had been sitting around for a month or so on my computer, and I just forgot to upload it. But a couple of videos ago, I changed my intro, and, uh, and now instead of saying welcome back to In a Pinch with Hitsu Zen, I'm Hitsu Zen from snuffhouse.com. Um, Truthfully, these days I'm, I'm equally, if not more, active on the Facebook groups, uh, the Modern Snuff Facebook group and the Nasal Snuff Pickers face, Facebook group, um, as I am or ever was on Snuff House. Um, so as many people know me as Chris, as I do with Suzanne, um, on SnuffHouse.com and the Modern Snuff.com forums, um, I'm still Hit Suzanne, uh, Nasal Snuff Takers and the Modern Snuff Facebook group, um, I'm, I'm Chris. So. Uh, just to simplify things. Also, there was some confusion um, whether my name was in a pinch or my name was Hitsuzan. Uh, so just to simplify things, I'm Chris. The show is in a pinch. Welcome. And today we're talking about Toke Espresso. So this is one, um, the first time I ever saw it on a list, I wanted to try it. Um, but I really wasn't sure after hearing a couple of reviews. So the first review of this stuff I ever heard was actually... Uh, Uncle Squinty talking about it, Paul, and, and he hated it, and, and you know, he, he uh, it infamously challenges Roderick to a thumb wrestling match uh, for making what he calls Toke ex Excuso. Um, now, Paul's still in the search for the holy grail of uh, coffee snuffs. I was for a long time, I'm starting to think that there might not be one. Um, Miss uh, Tony Snuff did a review uh, back in 2013 talking about how much he loved this stuff. Um, so then you have a really good one and a really bad one. Um, uh, I.B. Puffinsnuff did a review uh, where he said he did not like it initially, uh, which carried a lot of weight with me because, as, as he said on his channel, I'll say it on mine too, he and I have really similar tastes. Uh, so when he said he didn't like it, I figured, well, that seals that I probably won't like it either. But then uh, I.B. Puffinsnuff did a revised video where he said, you know, I kept using it and throw away the fact that it's supposed to be a coffee snuff just in and of, you know, for, for what it is, it's, it's decent, it's starting to grow on me, so then I thought, well, uh, what the hell, as a, as a experiment, I'm going to go ahead and throw a, a 10 gram tin in my order, I wasn't going to commit to uh, uh, a 25 gram tin, or, or certainly not a econ bag, but I wanted to try it, um, I told uh, Ian that I would get my thoughts back, so now I'm doing to espresso. Um, as you can see, uh, I have been dipping into it. Uh, let's talk about the color, the grind, the consistency. Um, the grind is your typical toke medium grind. Um, I, I would call it fine, uh, but for toke it's their medium grind. Um, the moisture is heavy. This, this is about the same moisture for those of you who uh, went ahead and tried the uh, the Toke Fig and Juniper. This is about the same. It, it almost feels wet, and uh, it oops, you can see that it pills uh, really heavily. It, it really pills, and the color too. Got my uh, got a new uh, hanky by the way. Uh, I get mine at Walmart. They sell those bandanas. I get them by the buck. Um, here I have another Toke here to compare. Uh, a typical Toke color. Uh, it would be, uh, damn it, I can't do a video without spilling the stuff all over the place because I have my camera set up in the worst. Anyway, so that's your typical Toke color, it's kind of a khaki brown. Um, here's the Toke Espresso, you can see it's, it's quite a bit darker, it's it's a cocoa color almost. Um, so there's that, let me sure I put the right tin back on this one. Um, the smell out of the tin is... That wet wood uh, scent that I got out, out of uh, Fig and Juniper is kind of there, but mostly it's uh, it's a cocoa, like an unsweetened, you know, dark uh, cacao almost. Uh, nothing remotely coffee. But let's go ahead and take a pinch. And with uh, uh, these wetter snuffs, I usually take a separate pinch for each nostril when it fills up like that, so I can just... <laughs> The one for each. 
if there was one and and uh again because it's so heavy you can really hawk it up there and it lands right right about where you, where you want it there we are yeah right where I want it there um all right so in the nose uh there's kind of a fermenty smell when you first take it I do get an espresso scent for like a split second um, um, I haven't been able to drink it for a while because my, uh, my seizure disorder has been kind of regressing a little bit, so I've, I've had to limit my caffeine intake. But just to show, I do know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is my Italian coffee maker. I used to, uh, really enjoy espresso. Um, so I, I, I do catch, just for a split second, um, a heavily acidic, deep, almost bitter coffee scent immediately is gone, though. As soon as you notice it, it's just gone. Um, after that, what I get, and, and I, I hate to mirror uh, what Ian said on his channel, but I get exactly the same thing. It's, it's a deep cocoa um, with like a burnt peanut butter. If you ever made um, um, Rice Krispies treats with peanut butter in them and you bake them in the oven and there's a smell of like the burnt peanut butter that ends up on the tinfoil on the bottom of the tray, it's that and, and cocoa. Um, so again, I, I, I have to uh, absolutely agree with Ian. For a coffee snuff, it's piss poor. It's probably the worst coffee snuff out there. And I'm pretty sure I've tried all of them now except for Wild Coffee Bite, which I hear is really good. Um, but for a coffee snuff, it's piss poor. But like Ian said, if someone just handed me this tin without a lid on it and said, try a pinch of this, I like it a lot. And uh, I may... I probably will go back and, and get an econ bag and jar some up because it's not something that I would use every day. Uh, it's really not something I would use all day. Um, but it is something that I would enjoy having around to take a pinch of when I when I uh, get in the mood for it. This stuff goes great with uh, the Lackey Madras toast, and that's kind of been my uh, my morning go-to, uh, especially on work days. Is uh, a fat pinch of uh, the Lackey Madras toast followed by small pinches, uh, one to each, no each nostril of the Tope Espresso. Um, nicotine, for me, is not especially heavy on this one. Uh, this is more of a get-the-scent-in-your-nose kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, again, in that realm, it has its place, like I said. Um, the Glocky Madras Toast, followed by the Tope Espresso, is, is an amazing cocktail of scents in your nose, and, uh, and it will wake you up. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, 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 I do like this stuff. Um, and, and I'm glad that, that Ian put that video up, um, because if I had just tried this on my own in the context of it being a coffee snuff, I would have hated it too. But, uh, just taken for what it is, I gotta be honest and say I, I, I dig it and I'm probably gonna order it. Um, my thoughts on Toke in general are starting to kind of evolve a little bit. Uh, more about that in my next video. Um, I, I, I wanna apologize. This is my first video in almost a month and, uh, my track record was every couple of weeks. I put up two or three at a time, um, and I haven't put one up in a month. I said at the beginning of the year this was going to be a, uh, a busy year for me, and it's been an insanely busy year, um, getting busier <laughs> almost by the day. Um, you know, between work and home, uh, we have a, a, a baby coming in a few months, and we're trying to get ready for that. Um, there just has not been free time. You know, um, our kids are still in school, uh, getting ready to go on spring break. Um, everything is just, I, I, I've been having a really hard time finding five spare minutes. My, my wife's been really pushing me to, uh, when I do find spare time, take it and like use it for quiet personal time instead of using it to get something else done because it's starting to really, uh, wear on me a bit. Um, that said, um, there's, there's a, a number of you guys that I, usually keeping regular contact with who I haven't been and I'm sorry I haven't been avoiding anybody I just I've been burnt out honestly it's 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 I'm not gonna lie it's it's it's, gonna, it's been a really tough uh especially the last couple of months have been really tough um uh the pain's coming back I, this isn't a, a vlog I'm not gonna go into all the personal stuff anyway so I'm sorry um today and tonight and hopefully tomorrow after work um, because I might be working a regular shift tomorrow. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more snuffs to review. 
um, a couple of non-snuff review snuff videos I want to do, um, and I'm going to try to do them all as quickly as I can, uh, so I can get them out to you. Looks like going to be doing a Sir Walter Scott's Thrice Brood review, uh, a Mullins Holland Snuff review, um, Sir Walter Scott's Lundy Foot, Sir Necker et Fresco, Sir Necker et Fresco Unterfettet, or Unterfettet, uh, which is the, the ungreased uh, Schmalzler. Um, and Toke Blueberry, which I'll be doing next. Please watch the Toke Blueberry. Um, so I got that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of videos that I said before I wasn't going to do, but there's enough uh, 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 requests for it that I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, this video is longer than I meant it to be. Uh, you guys be safe. God bless. And salute.